Well, by golly, it's time for the Disney list. Take a look at some of the best and worst of the Disney theme parks. All the focus today on Disney California Adventure, a favorite and a least favorite attraction at Disney California Adventure. Uh, certainly in past broadcasts, we've talked about Disneyland. And don't get our Tyler started on things like Smuggler's Run. You'll never hear favorite the attraction. Of favorite attraction everybody <laughs> knows that uh but today we are tyler lists and therefore probably won't run into a problem like that for california adventure i think good news that's good news right uh katrina manzoni here with us garrett hassel hanging out as well to share their takes on the matter a favorite and a least favorite maybe one that you could just go without really uh let's start with you garrett what do you think the one I could go without, it's going to break some of your hearts being Credit Coaster. I am not a Breaking fan of hearts. it. I've only, I know, I've been on it one time and I miss California Scream and I thought the soundtrack was more nostalgic. Plus you had Neil Patrick Harris as the narrator. Three, two, one, go! Like, I thought it was so charming, kind of like, you know, a boardwalk marker. But the Credit Coaster, it's beautiful, it's put together, but... I, I, it's, to me, it's very shaky. You it's like kind of rocky. You don't like the smell of cookies? <laughs> I do. I, I love cookies. I love <laughs> num num cookies. But the addition of the Incredibles in there, it's cute, but it doesn't really like blow it out of the water. Like, oh my gosh, this is such a transformative experience. Like if, like when they do, uh, you know, I think spa uh, Star Wars Space Mountain, or sorry, Hyperspace Mountain is more immersive than the Incredicoaster is, which is permanent incredible. <laughs> wow. So, uh, uh, fighting I words. Know, I know. Oh. I, 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 someone's going to punch me through their Smuggler's screen. Run is more immersive. <laughs> I would have shot through uh, the ball here. <laughs> I know. So now, Smuggler's Run, if you want to talk about immersion, uh, but my favorite, um, Mission, uh, Mission Breakout is probably my favorite thing there. I went on it during uh, Halloween season, and so I got After Dark, and I got the original. Cool. And I I was blown away by it. I went on, I'm like, man, they got rid of such a great attraction, Tower of Terror. And then you go on it, and it's just like, this thing kicks butt. There's multiple different scenes. I think it's fun. I think it's whimsical. You got jokes. You got laughs. It still whoops you up and down, and I love it. And then After Dark, oh, you got Baby Groot in there getting yelled at by big scary monsters. I adore it i think it's so cool um and i used it when the max pass was still around and i was like boom i went on that sucker like three times because i just kept you know renewing that pass so oh, uh, you're the problem <laughs> <laughs> unfavorable mix <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry it's it, you know it's us people that aren't from california anymore we're, we're ruining the fun for all the californians but wow. mission breakout for me just stands out and is so iconic now and when i go on you know tower of terror out of hollywood Studios, i'm like Mission Breakout way better. It really is. I'm sorry, <laughs> but it is. It is. I'm sorry. The collector, he knows what he's doing. He's got a great, beautiful collector. And plus, you know, animatronic uh, rocket is just so cool. Oh, it's very cool. cool. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and uh, Garrett, your girlfriend is in chat, and she says that she got sick on Incredicoaster. Uh-oh. Yeah. 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 Uh, I got a little shake on too. Usually I can handle some G-forces, uh, and I can take a hit like that. But yeah, the Incredible... I've, like, I, I felt like I was on the Matterhorn, but way worse. Like, the Matterhorn I can handle. This, a little rockier. Um, the only part I really liked was the launch. And then after that, it was like, oh, this is oh, not all. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Well, I'm glad yeah. you're still alive to tell the tale. Yeah. I'm glad yeah. my girlfriend's still alive because if she wasn't and that's how she went out, she would not be happy. With me. She'd be haunting me. No doubt about that. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, Tyler also yeah. in chat uh, joining us uh, virtually saying it's not his fault that Smuggler's Run is terrible. <laughs> See, <laughs> even from afar. Go back to saving and being a hero. <laughs> still Where seeps in. I tell you. Oh, Tyler. We're well, on Smuggler's Run, and you and I are going to be Gunners together. Yeah, oh, Gunners boy. together. That's right. The best, the best role in the entire Millennium Falcon. And uh, Katrina, let's turn it on over to you. California Adventure, a best and a worst. What do you got for us? Okay. All right. So this is an attraction thing, but I decided to go with rides. Oh. Um <laughs> So cool. my least favorite, mm -hmm. Soren around the world. What? I, I hate it. I doesn't belong. If it was like you know Soren over California, have at it. I would go yeah. probably every single you know every every couple times a month, right? Mm -hmm. Like it'd be great. You smell the oranges. You smell the sea breeze. You smell the 
the what is it the pine and all that stuff but man just I hate the sword or like over the world or whatever it's called around the world over the world uh it's not my sword favorite I hate the transitions it makes me laugh every single time it is like everything is fake it's like all computerized so nothing looks real <laughs> and it just it does not impress me so when I sit and so when we have like friends that want to go on it I'm like Ooh. And so even because they and again, it's not even unique because they have it here and they have it in Florida. Yeah. So what is unique about it? Like, I want something that is over the world, like over California, because it is called California Adventure. Yeah. So I want to go on adventure around California. I'll tell you, Katrina. Epcot's makes more sense uh, to be to be global sure, uh, the for the world. sake of Epcot. Okay. Right. Yeah. What are you going to say, Garrett? Yeah. So I haven't been on it in quite some time. Is the queue still like a celebration of California aviation, or is it hasn't pictures changed. of around the world? No, it hasn't changed. Yeah, same thing. Oh, then, then, then. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah. yeah. It does. How about this? Around the world, Epcot, keep it there forever. You know, sort of California, keep it California. You know, where it makes kind of a little bit of sense. I like that agreement. Like, how it just, it makes shake, sense, shake it? you know? Like, and if I yeah. really, I'm craving to do over the world, oh. then I'll go over to Florida and I'll write it once <laughs> and I'll be fine for the rest of the year. <laughs> and then, and I'll probably never again. So when we go to Florida and our friends want to go write it, we usually tell and I are like, we're gonna go to living with the land. I'll see you <laughs> oh, later. Oh, so much uh, better. Oh my God. It's Far such, superior. I could go on that like every single time because every single time is always a different experience. Here at you Epcot. Never know you want to learn, you learn about blooming. ladybugs in Japan. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And so it's just my it's my it's my least favorite. Um, I get it. And so now my favorite. Mm. So fun. Radiator Springs Racers. Hey oh. Cars Land. Yeah. So fun. That queue gets very lengthy. I totally understand, but man, when you go on it, it's just so much fun because you just mm -hmm. go in your car, you race around, and then if you do single rider, which we always we've talked about it multiple times, this is like my favorite thing is you get a chance to race your friends. So if you guys go in a group of you know, four or five, you have like, you know, more of a chance to ride and connect with each other. Cause at the end of the, at the end of the ride, you take the two cars and you race with each other to see who wins. And I think it's fun. Cause then instead of like all riding in the same car to get your picture, you just, you can race your friend and then just stare at them the whole time. And if you lose, you just go, oh, I don't know a, you. Uh, yeah. Uh, so that, that's like my favorite ride. <laughs> it's always fun. Very nice. I know it's uh, still the hottest ticket in town when it comes oh, it to California Adventure, outpacing even uh, that Spider-Man Web Slinger attraction that came in with Avengers Campus. So, hey, speaks volumes, I think. <laughs> yeah. And soaring around the world, um, it's, it's bizarre to me because, you know, it's like one of those attractions that with California version um, hit all the right notes and just enchanted people to no, to no end. And then you thought, man, they're going to do a world version. This is going to be even better. <laughs> Epic. And somehow, you know, and I think it, a lot of it has to do with, unfortunately, the, the digital rendering and the CGI mixed in. It, and I know that they're trying to make it captivating and everything, but so much of the California version, it was captivating with bare basics you know it was right. captivating by just seeing what you got and yes that they they staged some things gets launched at you the michael eisner yeah. golf ball mm -hmm. yeah. yeah yeah that's what that's why i failed no michael eisner see like and palm springs golfing and even though like the orange tree thing the they were digitally added like it still was perfect you know the taj mahal like if i want to look at the taj mahal in a digital so surface i'll go on youtube or go on wikipedia i don't need to go on that ride and see a fake crane land in fake water <laughs> <laughs> get get the sprayed like dust at by fake elephants. Oh my gosh. That <laughs> yeah. transition with the polar bear. I'm like, come on. <laughs> like in the first two seconds, you're like, this is what it's gonna be for the rest of the rest of yeah. the ride, right? Or yeah. the what and it is, yes. Yeah, it's it's tough to watch. I, was I know. Like the polar bear didn't come up with Coca Cola and being like <laughs> I, I was product for that placement. <laughs> I, I like like when you're in Utah and then the the bird comes up. Ah! It's like oh wow jump scares haha <laughs> that's that's what we need for transitions. No we use we use real quality stuff like mm -hmm. going into the water on Soren over California. Yeah. And, hey. and Man, depending when those on jets came by like it made you have feels. Very true. You know what I yeah. mean? Like when those things are whoosh, go by you're mm -hmm. like oh. Yeah. That was the coolest. That was like one of my favorite scenes to be honest. Like it was one just really elements, neat. Yeah. And then you go over San Diego and you see everything over there. 
it's just like and then it makes you want to go visit mm -hmm. those locations like the taj mahal i'm sure in real life is gorgeous mm -hmm. but yeah that you, you don't like do the justice. angle you don't like the curved eiffel tower that everyone knows is curved i know and i'm gonna go to eiffel tower and be like i thought it was always curved no. <laughs> what's that the angle only yeah the one positive patrick warburton is still the narrator so Thank that's goodness. you know the, the gift Bless. but yeah the curved eiffel tower mm. say bella hey garrett yeah nice work pal and of course these little beauties these little beauties <laughs> oh patrick warburton he, raised he's, prices. he is a dream <laughs> well uh ladies and gentlemen you let us know best and worst attractions when it comes to disney california adventure we would love to hear from you as always in the comments what can you go without and maybe what can you never miss when you visit dca whoa come to this happy place welcome